ever nodded at terms like p-value or cohort analysis and felt out of your depth? In today's data-driven world, every team relies on numbers. Yet without data literacy, those charts might as well be hieroglyphs. In this episode, we'll cover core concepts and simple habits to speak the language of data confidently. By the end, you'll spot insights in any chart with ease. Data literacy isn't optional. It's your competitive edge. It lets you spot trends before they become headlines and propose data-backed solutions instead of guesses. Plus, fluency in charts and metrics elevates your career, making you the go-to expert in meetings and project discussions. Let's demystify three pillars. One, metrics versus dimensions, metrics, revenue, clicks, measure performance, dimensions, date, region, provide context. Two, correlation versus causation, two trends moving together, ice cream sales and accidents, don't imply one causes the other. Three, biases, watch for sampling, survivorship, and confirmation bias that skew insights. Understanding these fundamentals will make every data conversation more productive. Early in the pandemic, many dashboards mixed total cases, deaths, and hospitalizations, hiding critical spikes. By focusing on new cases per 100K population and filtering for regions with similar testing rates, health agencies pinpointed hotspots and sent resources exactly where they were needed. This simple shift in framing saved time and improved public communication. Adopt these habits today. 1. Spend 5 minutes daily on a public dashboard. Example, Google Trends. 2. In meetings, ask so what? To tie numbers to action. 3. Build a mini report. Grab a free data set. Clean it. Chart one insight and summarize in five slides. You've seen why data literacy accelerates decisions, learned key concepts, and picked up three daily habits to boost fluency. If this helps, hit like and subscribe. Comment below. Which metric will you master first?